listen, I'm not telling you to not buy this. And I'm also not telling you to don't buy this. But before you do, watch this video and let me show you how I passed the NCLEX not once, but twice on the first try. I know you just found this page, this video. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kristen. I have been a nurse in the state of Florida for eight years. Five years as an LPM, first attempt, and three years as an RN, second attempt. Because I know some of y'all sitting here thinking like, how this girl talking about she passed the NCLEX on the first attempt twice? That don't even add up. The math ain't math in. But there's your answer. First things first, you got to go and get your Saunders Inclex Prep book. That book was the book I used to pass the LPN exam and the RN Inclex exam. I did not use Kaplan. Hearst, um, and the really expensive one, we all know which one I'm talking about, but I didn't use any of those, mainly because both times I was a single mom and I needed to go with the most affordable option. NCLEX, the Saunders NCLEX prep book has thousands of questions and the questions are legit. I would not be on here ranting and raving for free because El Sevier is not paying me to tell y'all. And I'm giving y'all this gem for free. Make sure you purchase that Saunders NCLEX prep book. And I mean, you don't have to, you can do what you want to do. Y'all know I'm an Amazon ambassador affiliate. So if you click the link down in my description box, you can purchase it. I'll get a little bit of money. That's a great way to support my channel. But even if you don't, make sure you purchase that NCLEX book because I want everybody to pass and become nurses. Everybody need to eat. Everybody need to be six figure chicks like me. So please, 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 please heed to my advice. Purchase the Saunders NCLEX prep book. I just spent two minutes telling you to go and buy it. So that's telling you that that is your for sure ticket to passing the NCLEX. I did it. I even gave my NCLEX book to a friend of mine who didn't pass the first time. She waited five years before she retook the NCLEX because she was so discouraged. She took it a second time after studying that Saunders NCLEX book for LPN and she passed. So I'm not playing no games with y'all. I'm not just on here for clout, y'all know. I'm the realest in the game, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know I don't sugarcoat, I don't fake the funk with y'all. Go purchase that. After you purchase that, set up your NCLEX date. Put a date on it. Stop getting on the internet with that rah-rah. Put a date on it. Schedule that NCLEX exam. I don't care if you schedule it for two days from now, two weeks from now, two months from now, because I had to wait a few months because I didn't have the cash. So I know everybody can't take it the first day out of nursing school, but put a date on it. Once you put that date on it, that is going to help you get into the mind frame of it's go time. It ain't no turning back. So that's when you start to sit down and you do your practice exam questions. That's going to segue into the next step to passing the NCLEX on the first try. Every time you sit down to study for the NCLEX exam, make sure you practice the same amount of questions that is the max. For the max questions you can take for the NCLEX for LPN and the NCLEX questions for RN. For me, it was 265 questions for the NCLEX and the RN because that was pre-COVID. And I got all 265 questions, but I was prepared to go the long haul because every single time I studied, I took 265 questions. Each sitting, don't have no distractions. Don't have no phone on, don't have kids around. Go to where you can go quietly and lock in. That way you have built the stamina. So if you have to go the long haul, you don't get fatigued. 
listen, you gotta get prepared because who got $300 to retake the ink lakes? You might, I didn't. And I'm trying to teach you how to pass it on the first attempt. So each time I would suggest you study at least three days a week. If you're sitting down three times a week doing 265 questions, you should be very well-versed in how the questions will be worded for the NCLEX. And I'm going to be honest, I felt like when I took the NCLEX, I saw these questions before because I took so many practice questions that it almost seemed like I, was, I already knew the answers. So... Sit down three times a week, do the max amount of questions so that you are prepared just in case you're that person that gets it. Nobody knows the real rhyme or real reasoning to why some people get the lowest and some people get the highest. It's just the way the game goes, so be prepared. Make sure you know your lab levels. That is an easy answer so that you can get the right answer. Because if you know that these are the correct lab levels or not the correct lab levels, then you already know the answer to the question. Another pro tip, read the questions thoroughly, completely from front to end. Read the answers and then read the question again before you answer it. Look for keywords. What is an expected? then you know that you're looking for the correct answer. What is an adverse reaction? Then you know you're looking for something that should not happen. Just make sure you read the question thoroughly and look for keywords because that can be the key to your answer. Because if they drop something like, what's an adverse reaction? They'll have three things that should happen and one thing that shouldn't happen. There's your adverse reaction. If they say, what's an expected finding? They're gonna have three things that should not happen and one thing that should happen. So make sure you know your keywords. And lastly, this is gonna be part two to this video, mindset. 80% of anything is knowledge and 20 to 25% is going to be confidence in yourself because you can know the information but if you psych yourself out to think that you don't know it or convince yourself that you're that the question you know is right is wrong you will fail so you got to have your mindset i'm going to do a whole separate video to the mindset but that is the main key to passing the NCLEX on the first try I know plenty of people who would have had the NCLEX in the bag if they weren't distracted or if they would have just been confident in themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a comment down in, subscribe to my channel, like, and come back. I'll see you guys later. Ciao.